One of the biggest issues is, will I lose my hair? It's an interesting thing, it's huge because it is such an outward expression of illness. So without you ever telling anybody, people know something's going on, something's not right, you must be getting chemotherapy, are you sick, could you be dying? It's a really big issue and affects not just the outside world and your appearance to the outside world, but sometimes your inner circle as well. Many times for women, their young kids are actually quite bothered and worried about that change in appearance and they don't want their mom to even walk around the house without a wig on. And the wigs are hot and uncomfortable and tight and uh, then a hat, a hat is a sure sign that something's going on, you know? Uh, so I, I think that for women it can affect their psychological health in a big way. And you know, sometimes we hear of women who are sort of balancing uh, the benefits of chemotherapy against the evils of losing their hair. And in the metastatic setting where women have incurable cancer, it can be a huge barrier to getting some of our most effective chemotherapy agents. People just don't want to lose their hair. So scalp cooling has been a, a way of maintaining control during a period of time where women have very little control. They didn't choose to get cancer. Most of the time there's nothing they could have done to prevent it, uh, but they have to deal with it. And they're offered treatment choices that uh, where the treatment can sometimes, in some situations, play a very big role in helping them to have the best chance of being cured of their cancer or to live longer and to have better quality of life. But they can't control what happens to them during that chemotherapy. Using scalp cooling gives them that measure of control and a way of, if it's successful, maintaining their sort of normal appearance to the outside world. So even if you tell people you're getting chemotherapy, you look pretty good. Even if you don't feel good, you look pretty good. And that makes a big difference to women.